Hey everybody, Marion the Barbarian here, and we got a good shave for you today. I'm like excited about it at least. I did want to do a straight razor shave, but I got a bunch of stuff on top of my cedar chest, and I got a shelf in there, and that's where all my straight razors are, and I don't feel like taking everything off to pull out a straight razor and then put them back on, so that's where we are. It, it was laziness that kept me from using the actual razor I wanted to use. So we're going to use K Shave Works Shaping Up. This is a dupe of Brute. Uh, six ounces. They are closing up shop. They just announced it over the weekend. Something about their jobs, you know, they don't have time to do this anymore. So that's understandable. They've been kind of doing the same sense for a while. Haven't come out with any new releases other than some seasonals they did with uh, the Razor Company. But man, this is really strong. It's great. You can see I've been scooping this for a little while. I mean, they have a really solid pour. Like, it's it's a good six ounces, probably a little more. But we whipped it up today in the uh, Captain's Choice. Didn't incorporate all the soap, it looks like, even. Um, it's heavily laden with coconut oil. I think that's the third ingredient after water and stearic acid. Um, but we got, you know, old school lather. Very voluminous. Like, it, it, it really just really fast got bubbly fast as well but the more i incorporated the soap in didn't add water and just kept beating it we got rid of it so we're gonna see how this lather went i could probably add more water but i don't know what do y'all think is that good no. little uh barbasol like in my opinion like the uh consistency i've got going on here which means it could probably use water Look at all that, guys. No. Yeah. Probably could use a little water. Look at those peaks. The fact that I get peaks and then they kind of just hang makes me feel like I need a little bit more water. But this will be a serviceable uh, lather, in my opinion. Very strong, guys. Like, the Brute is just banging on this one. Uh... If it is available, it will be on a tanium, and it will be, uh, it's a good one to have, let's put it that way. And it depends, are you a base person, or are you a scent person? Because if you're a base person, you may like scents too, but you're also going to stick to certain bases that, you know, you feel are more to suit your needs. Is that a good way to put it? suit your needs. I think there's a piece of a uh, soap actually. And there we are using this uh, Ever Ready that I it had a nylon knot originally in it. The knot was replaced by J.R. Reyes when he took the old knot out. He uh, filled the handle with resin and uh, he filled the handle with resin and then he put in an Omega bore knot. Because I, I could have gone synthetic, but I wanted it to still look as close to um, what was originally in there, which was, you know, pretty much looked like fiber optics <laughs> and uh, I just went with the bore knot but we are using the PAA Ascension Twist with the purple tip and the Platinum Strangelet second use Very comfortable shave. Very nice. I think I did a shave New Year's Day. Today is Monday the 3rd. So we're going with two days worth of growth. And if you're a noob that stumbled onto my channel today, you're really not supposed to buff
or go over an area that doesn't have lather. But this does provide good residual slickness. And if you leave a little bit of water on your razor and don't try to shake it all off, it helps add to the residual slickness by applying more water to the soap that was left on your face. So you can get away with it that way. But I only do two passes or try to really only do two passes. So I'm really doing more than two with going over some areas. But I'm also trying to line up that goatee area. So I'm trying to get as close to the line as possible without actually cutting into it. I'm sure, if that makes any kind of sense. Mm -hmm. Lather dried a little on the handle. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see how dry that looks right there on the handle? So, like I said, I could have added more water, but it's, it's working good. Man, that's a good. That feels super smooth, guys. Like, I don't know if y'all can hear the feedback. And I'm really using the Ascension because I did use it the other day and I hadn't been using it a lot. Kind of took a back burner. And it's not a bad razor. So. There we go. So, been using a little more. I have the, uh, I have this razor in three styles, stainless, aluminum, and pot metal. Well, the pot metal one I think is a razor rock. And the price is virtually the same, but the person that This is not an original PAA design. It's a tweak design of a vintage. And then Razor Rock saw it was successful and they made their own version. It's what Razor Rock does. Some people will argue that's not okay. Some people will say they don't care. We're not gonna get into that here on this channel. But, I do have all of them, and I enjoy all of them. They're they're all great razors. Let's look. Uh, we have the aluminum. I do prefer the bomb tip on this razor versus the beefy handle. The bomb tip's just a little thinner, like I like. So, but also a great razor, and. This is the. Uh, Razor Rock SLOC, Self Lubricating Open Comb, and this is called the DOC, the Double Open Comb. So, we're going to rinse up and we'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, we are back. Everything's feeling good. Feeling lovely, lovely, lovely. So, we do have the Ever Ready 836B. I really enjoy this one. It's very nice. Like, like I said, this is one of my favorite vintage. It's hard for me to get rid of vintage things because they're not made anymore. And even if you don't use them all the time, it's going to be hard for you to get it back. And it'll probably cost you more to get it back once you've sold it. Because I try not to like overprice my shit. And by the time I've worn it again, it'll probably be more rare. Just the way the shit goes. Use the uh, Brute Splash On. I... After Shave and Splash On is different is different and the only way I know the difference is one has menthol the other doesn't so I can't remember if this has menthol or not we're about to find out 
We got it burned. I don't know, maybe a little bit of cooling. So maybe this is the methylated one. Yeah, it's cooling a little. Nothing great, nothing to write home about. I mean, come on, it's drugstore in a plastic bottle. Classic Brute, Elvis's favorite scent. But it's a nice, inexpensive Fougere. Shaping up the star of the show. And like I said, guys, they, they've made a good product, but I was talking with some people before this, and the big thing was they weren't active in the community. They have an average, slightly above average, mediocre even base. You know, performs well. Their scents are nice, but they haven't come out with any real new scents. So they stopped selling directly off their site, only sell to retailers. So that the writing was on the wall. But I do recommend look into it if you're interested. They'll be at cheaper prices right now. Six ounces. And like I said, good suds. This one was banging like scent. I would probably say is like a 7 or an 8 out of 10. Um, it's really strong. You could smell it the entire shave and it was in your face. Uh, those PAA Strangelets, guys, those are really nice. We're going to put links below. Get all that done. That way if you want to see it, um, anything PAA will be affiliate with me. Um, I'm not telling you by it, but if you are interested and you'd like to support the channel, please use the affiliate. Um, other than that, everybody have a happy new year and, uh, catch you later this week.